you ever gotten up in the morning and looked in the mirror? All the time, because I'm so handsome. Yeah. That what <laughs> else good. would I do? That's where I want to get to it. And did you see yeah. a future president or a future senator? Of me? Future, yes. Me? No, I don't, have any, I don't have any interest in that. don't have any interest in that. You never had the thought that never I might run for public office. Look, I have a I, wide audience. I make bestsellers talking about killing presidents. You know, as Dennis Miller said, I'd have to take a massive salary cut to do it, and I'm just no, not willing on, to do it. Money that. means nothing to you anymore. I, <laughs> you see, look, here's the deal. I'm in a unique position in television. I'm a watchdog, okay? I watch everybody. And I, there's nobody else really doing that on a national level. That's what I do. Am I going to give that up to go out and raise money Nobody's to run doing around? What on a national level? Being a watchdog for Work. regular working people, all right? Nobody That's, at Fox is doing that but you? Not really. I mean, it's, uh, there are a lot of people commentating, but it's all political commentary, ideological, liberal, conservative, bang, bang, bang. We don't do that. We say this is what we think is good for the nation and for the folks, and here's why. Yeah. That's why I've been successful for 17 years, because we've carved out a unique place. Why do I want to give that up and be a a phony running around begging hey, for money. But you never had the idea at all of ever running for public office. One time I wanted to run against Barney Frank because he's so loathsome to me. And I was living in Massachusetts. And we talked about it. But Barney would have kicked my butt in that district. Yes, he what would. do you think about...